Hello and welcome to Ask Kate, brought to you by the Children's Tumor Foundation. I'm Kate and I'm here to answer frequently asked questions that come to us from the NF community, from all of you. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about coronavirus and the COVID-19 vaccines. I want to say right from the start that I am probably not going to answer all of the questions that you have or that I have received. And the reason for that is because many of these questions really just do not have good, reliable scientific answers. And so I am going to tread lightly, I'm going to say what I know, and there's still going to be a lot of gray area, and I understand that that's very difficult at a time like this. And I hope that you will still find this helpful. I wanna start off just talking a little bit about coronavirus and any particular risk it might pose to those in the NF community. So we have no reason to believe at this point and no evidence that suggests that coronavirus automatically um, is more threatening to someone because they have NF1, NF2, or schwannomatosis. Um, by the very nature of having one of these conditions, it does not seem that you are likely to have more severe disease from coronavirus or, or that you won't, right? So either direction. Uh, it seems that you are with the general population in terms of why does this particular virus make some people so ill and other people barely know they're sick. And that is not something that science can answer yet. We do, however, know at least a little bit about the fact that certain patients with certain conditions um, and people living with certain medical conditions um, may be at an increased risk for more severe illness, right? So people who have cardiovascular issues, high blood pressure, respiratory problems, um, those kinds of things might seem to be in a category of those who are getting sicker, right? So this is something we've known for a while. And so if you're living with, for example, NF1, and you have a tumor that impairs your breathe, your breathing, right? So has some kind of restriction on your breathing, then we might consider you more high risk for serious illness from coronavirus. Or if you have NF1 and you have high blood pressure, that might be something to think about as well. So we do know that coronavirus is serious and that we don't really fully understand yet why again, some people get very, very sick and some people do not. So we encourage you to take coronavirus seriously uh, and to be careful and to make wise choices and to work with your medical provider when it comes to are there behaviors you should avoid, you know, thinking through whether you're still going to wear a mask, if you're vaccinated, like these are questions that are personal uh, and best made with the team of medical providers who know you. So jumping to the vaccine, I want to talk just a little bit about the fact that there are several different COVID-19 vaccines available. Um, they were each work, um, some work differently than others. And I'm not going to get into all of that today on this video. There are definitely resources out there that can help you understand the difference. And if you're interested in those, please feel free to email me um, at my email that should be below the screen here. And I'd be happy to, to talk more through the specifics of the different vaccines. Um, what we do know is that right now there seems to be no evidence or data of any kind that indicates that the COVID-19 vaccines in any of, its, any of the vaccines available um, affect people with NF any differently than the general population. Um, there is no indication that it is in any way dangerous or exacerbates NF symptoms or anything of, the, of that nature. So we recommend that you, again, speak with your medical doctor. This is the person who will help you make a decision about whether or not you choose to get vaccinated. Um, we hope you'll take it seriously. We know that this is a fantastic community of really intelligent, passionate people. And so we hope that you have a doctor you trust that you can talk to and work with uh, in thinking through this decision. And so I, I just wanna kind of leave it at that. I understand, again, there's so much that's unknown. I'd ask that we keep the comments kind. I know that um, vaccination can be a very sensitive topic for many people. And so um, we just wanna keep it kind and thoughtful. Uh, this is a really supportive space is what I have seen in the comments. And I just, I have every reason to believe that that, would, that will continue. So thank you so much for joining us today. As I said, feel free to leave a comment below, ask a question, um, email me directly if you'd rather just speak with me. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so much and I will see you in our next video.